Hello everybody and welcome back to Kremiel the Fallen Angels Adventure in Baldur's Gate 3. Last time we dealt with Queen Valakit for a bit and then uh, we kind of had to handle the old lady from uh, Society of Brilliance because she kind of wanted our git egg. Speaking of such git egg, um, where you at? We have it right here, because we had to put the old lady down. I do not plan on giving this git egg to anybody. I will actually attempt to see if it's possible within this game to raise said egg. Or to have Lazel raise said egg. Um, I am 100% expecting Lazel to become queen instead of Lakit, by the way. I don't know if that's what actually happens within the game, but judging from what I'm seeing and Lazel's development so far, this doesn't. They did you have um, signs as to that maybe being a possibility? <clears throat> Lazel being the next queen of the Gits is what I mean. Now I did say I will sort this off video. I forgot. So. You're gonna see this on video. <laughs> Alright, we're looking through the items. Let me see, what is this? <clears throat> our storied sect requires an object most rare upon our plane. The egg of a githyanki. Okay. The good sir that retrieves this item, which must be in excellent condition, will be rewarded most handsomely. Timeliness is key. Find us in the lodge in Baldur's Gate upon the completion of this task. Signed by the Collective, Society of Brilliance of Baldur's Gate. Alright. Graceful cloth. Oh my god. There are a lot of items here which may actually be useful to my party. Let's see, when downed, automatically stabilize at the start of the turn, potent healing. Whenever you are healed, you restore the maximum number of points possible. I see. So this is just Omega Busted for Shadow Heart. Then we got uh, the Graceful Cloth. <clears throat> you gain Cat's Grace. Advantage on dexterity checks, interesting. And then uh, increase your dexterity by 2 to a maximum of 20. So this is for somebody that, that uses dex, I guess. First of all, and then you gain a 1% bonus to dexterity. Uh, this is clothing. This is not armor. I just realized. So this is potentially good for Karlak. Uh... Will, I don't recall if Will actually has any armor or is it, or if it's clothing, but I do think Karlak uses dexterity for her spell modifier. So for now, I will give this to Karlak. All right, we got the gloves of baneful striking. Whenever you deal damage with a weapon attack, the target receives a minor. Okay, we don't care about this. We don't care about Hoppy. Cacophony. A rare melee weapon. Thunderous Smite. Interesting. Potentially decent, but I would expect this to be at least to die before I consider this to actually be decent. I don't think this is good as a one-hander. I know it says versatile, but I don't think this is good as a one-hander. I don't exactly know what this is, though. Uh, this is a melee smite. Oh, it's a Carter staff. Hold up, Gale. Okay. Then we have uh, unarmed attacks, deal an additional 1 to 4 fire damage. Scorching Ray. Yeah, we don't care about this. I'm gonna... I could literally just grab everything and just sell what I don't need. Uh, what I'm gonna check now is if I can actually dismantle right, right here. Uh, 
Apparently not. I don't even know if dismantling is possible. So let me know if that's a thing. I was I was looking to get materials out of these instead of actually just grabbing everything and selling them. You know what I mean? But it is what it is. Okay, we got two bowls which are useless. This hand axe which is useless. Uh, boots of elemental momentum. Okay, whenever you deal acid, cold, fire, lightning, thunder, they gain momentum for two turns. Mm, nah. Encrusted with frost. Two turns. When there are seven or more turns remaining, the entity must succeed. A oh my god. Okay, yeah, nah. Nope. We don't have anybody that is uh, min-maxing on cold. Gain one to stealth checks. Mm, nah, I'm good. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, there, there seems to also be a lot of garbage. Ranger gloves. Uh, attack plus one. Huh. Um, I don't think anybody can actually use this. Let's see. Is there a... At some point I had an inventory which would allow me to open every single inventory. But I guess that was removed for whatever reason. Well, let's see now. How delicious. Proficiency with longbow, shortbow, in addition your ranged weapons deal an additional 2 damage. I will keep the ranged weapons. We still have Mirna's locket, I'm not sure why. <laughs> it's a story item though. Okay, let's see now. Let's get going. I don't think anybody can actually use those gloves. Penalty. Karlak has the the wrath or rage ending, which is actually kind of good. Needed. Yeah, nah. Unless Gale has something that is weird. Nah, plus two the armor class is busted. Well that Advantage on melee attack rolls while surrounded by two or more foes. Uh, I guess I could potentially switch some gloves around for Cremio. Let's see now where they moved around. I don't think the attack plus one or it though. Suspiciously easy. Proficiency in all armor types while equipped. Interesting. Okay, I don't care for any of these, do I? Can't be knocked prone. <clears throat> okay. High leg heavy boots. Ooh. Uh, what what Shadowheart got? Hold up, because she's the one to actually use these. Okay. Hold the phone. We have found something for Shadowheart. This actually gives her 15 armored class. Is that even a thing? Apparently it is. <laughs> she gets one extra. Well, no. That was unexpected. Wait, she has no... no. Uh, okay. I was not aware she has no glove. Heavy metal glove with shoulder plate. Plus two armor class. Plus one attack. Plus one saving throw. Interesting. How does this look though? Um, it doesn't change probably because I got shorts chosen equipped. Or I'm just not seeing the change somehow. It's weird. Anyway, she's got 23 AC right now. Shadowheart has just basically kind of become immune to attacks almost. Is Shadowheart about to become OP? Hold the phone. She has the Adamantine, which uh, reduces incoming damage by one. Melee attacks hit you... Okay. <clears throat> what is reeling? Because I forgot. Okay. Uh, 
and also no crit hits. I don't think I'm gonna be able to find a better armor than this early game. Let's see now. Plus one bonus to dex. Nope. Although, Astarion has no armor. If I can find some light armor for Astarion, that would be good. You know, this lady just has a bunch of stuff on her for whatever reason. And it will potentially empower my party very, very nicely. But does she have... Oh my god, 19. But this is heavy armor. We got no proficiency in heavy armor. Or do we? Stadion, can you use heavy? I am confused. Okay, she's, she's got a lot of food, so I will take that right off the bat. I'm gonna take the die, because why not? Die remover. That, that, that. The cooking pan, we don't use that. Cutting board, nah. We don't care about the loot. I will take the arrows, I will take the spells. Obviously get the potion, get Thieves thing. Every potion we got. I don't need the torch. I'll take the shrooms though, I guess. Alright. We got a cropped leather jacket, which reveals the booba, so let's not touch that. You know... I might get this for science. I'm not gonna equip it on video though. <laughs> I'm sorry if you're expecting that. Th this is 600 gold? What? Kushigo counter. Patient defense. Okay, we don't have that, unfortunately. You make an unarmed strike against any target that misses. Eh. 20 AC! Rare heavy armor. Oh, potentially good for Grimiel? Question mark. You take two less damage from slashing, piercing, bludgeoning. One bonus to spell save DC, and that's it. I'll take it for now. Enhanced battlecaster. Th this is one hundred percent. Modded armors. Ain't no way these are base game. By the way. I, I don't believe these are base game. But do let me know if I'm wrong. Also these seem to all be for women. So th this is why I'm doubting they are base game. Chainmail under armor. Interesting. This is medium. Haha. <laughs> Oh, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Can Astarion use this? Um, 20 AC. <laughs> While basically being naked. <laughs> uh, um, alright, I, you know what, I'll take it. <laughs> I will take it. Um. I wait. Why does Astarion have heavy armor proficiency? That is weird. Is he supposed to have heavy armor profi proficiency? I am very confused. I am very confused at this point. All right. Oh, it's because it's, it gives proficiency in all. I, okay. I forgot they had the suspiciously easy. Yes, that grants the wearer proficiency in all armor types when equipped. Just a pair of underwear. <laughs> oh my god, but this chainmail armor looks kind of interesting for him. Kind of putting the nuts in evidence, if you know what I mean. Good old coffee. Okay, I 
think I am done, question mark? Unless there is clothing that could be used for Karlak. Which I do have to check. I'm sorry, I know this is taking a bit, but... There are a lot of items here which are potentially very good. Okay, uh, the rare clothing. I actually wish I could sort by type. Um, no? Then, I, uh, I need to know what is the clothing that is good. It needs to be more than 10 AC though. I guess I'll get the 12. Astral Monastery Garb. I think that's it. Because I can't get actual armor because uh, Karlak doesn't use armor. Okay. Karlak looking kind of nice. Kinda white, kinda like a Jedi. I will take it. By the way, they keep fucking uh, Star Wars for some reason. I don't know what's wrong with the whoever made Star Wars, because I forgot. It's been years since I've actually cared. It's that bad. They are literally ruining Star Wars at this point, and they're about to ruin Iron Man, the movie. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing now. They are actually ruining it. Okay, we gain Wrath when we dash. I have yet to actually use the dash move, so I maybe I should be dashing more often? Plus one bonus to damage. Okay, so for now, from now on, when Karlak is in range with a dash, let's not fly. But... I need a bo- oh my god, the double Sunday is a- okay... Um, sure. Double Sunday is a bonus attack, and for whatever reason I did not realize that. Also, this uppercut was a major reason as to why we won the last fight. The one with the Jedi whatever his face was. No one back home will ever believe this. Alright, uh, Kremiel doesn't really have anything. Well, other of the, uh, other than the gloves of the underdog, which I could, uh, yeah, gloves of underdog could be changed, potentially. I need to check if this is even any good. One extra AC is good in my book. Heavy metal gloves. That's it. Advantage on melee attack rolls when surrounded by two or more foes is decent. I think the extra AC is very valuable though. As much as I like the advantage when surrounded, I don't think I found myself surrounded all that often. We still have the Exterminator Axe, which is kind of interesting. Okay, is there anything I can give to William? The pride of the gate. I guess I could switch Black Mizora robes. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, all right, let's see. Can we switch Black Mizora robes? It's clothing. Ah. It's clothing. Now, if I recall, Will also does not use armor. I could be wrong, though, but I kind of need to check. Oh, uh, there is so much stuff in here. I am immune to lightning damage, resistant to physical attacks, immune to statuses that affect mind or flesh, disease, bleeding, poison, charm, blind, friend, dominated, confused advantage, and expertise on history, religion, nature, medicine, investigation, perception, and insight checks. Whew! That was a lot of reading I had to do for a single pass with my guy. 
Damn! Alright, we did make him an android. Okay. Yeah, I don't... think I'm supposed to be... using... this, necessarily? I am mostly using Eldritch Blast. That said, I could be using these every now and then as well. But I think I am mostly using uh, Eldritch Blast, and I already have Agonizing Blast. So I don't... Even though I would like to have him cast shit more often, he does not have a lot of magic. A lot of cantrips, rather. Ah, uh, we do have Bone Chill. Is there any other cantrip I have? Sorry, but I have to check. Cause there is way too much stuff right now. We also have heroism, by the way. I just realized. Yeah. So it's only for the Bone Chill. That we would be adding the Charisma modifier, but I think, even though it says additional damage, I don't know. You know, I'll, I think I'll keep it, because it's potentially very, very strong for the Eldritch Blast. But at the same time, I may have to just grab another piece of armor. It is, it's very weird to be able to basically use any armor I want because they give me the proficiency. Battle Mage armor. Battle Mage sounds nice. Is there anything that is rare? Well, I think I'll have to go with the Battle Mage. War Weaver. Sounds cool too. What is this? Ranger. How does you look with War Weaver? Please don't show the dicky. Okay, for some reason it doesn't show up. It's just a pair of underwear. <laughs> he got 21 AC though. So. Yeah. Okay. I'll keep it for now, that's a lot of AC. Alright, uh, I'm sorry to have dragged this out for 23 minutes. I promise to prolong the video. <laughs> if you all want that. I don't know if I should though. Um, let's see, which way we are going right now. So we were at Temple, or Monastery right and I think we need to advance through here. Also recall kind of seeing something down there. Let me check. Was there a route? I think there was a route. Oh no, I did actually take the route. And then we went around. And we ended up inside monastery. Alright. Got it. Oh, my mouse speed is, is really fast. I am not used to my current sensitivity. Oh. Be cautious. Thank you for pointing that out. A repulsion mine? What the... What the fuck is that? Alright, Astarion. Do your thing. Disarm. I will add the bonus from Guidance. That was hyper unnecessary, but it's fine. Right. Right. Right, right, right. Um, I don't know what a repulsion mine does, but I don't plan on finding out. What is on that ward? Sacred Defiance. Death Shepherd? What the fuck is that? A level 6 skeleton. Ghouls? There's a trap. Motherfucker, what? Um... The, the battle started. Uh, b b battle. Battle. <laughs> ay ay ay. Hold up. 
this motherfucker is resistant to everything. <laughs> what? It's poison immune. It's resistant to force, to psychic, to cold, to lightning, to fire, to necrotic, to thunder, to acid, to bludgeoning, to piercing, and to slash. So you're telling me I can only use the one thing I do not have that much of, which is radiant damage. Motherfucker. <laughs> Gale doesn't have radiant damage. Uh, that is bad, actually. Is everybody like that? Oh no, thank god. Only these two. The Death Shepherd. Two Death Shepherds. And... Uh, let's see. A Ghast and three Ghouls. Is that all I'm seeing? Four ghouls, actually. So, four ghouls, a ghast over here. What is up with these undead all of a sudden? Hello? Okay. Four ghouls, a ghast, and uh, two dead shepherds. My guy is a level 8 and he got destroyed. That is not, not good for me. They also seem to have... 80 HP by default because some random ass shield. What is Necrotic Veil? I'm assuming that does damage. Uh, no, that's the temporary hit points actually. Oh, so while Necrotic Veil is up, they are resistant to everything except Radiant. And, oh, wait, they can't be turned! Oh shit! Okay, Shadow Heart, you're gonna have to hella tank this. Allied on the Shadow Heart is gonna be just a major damage dealer, huh? Okay, this motherfucker has on that aura as well. Jesus. Well, <sighs> this is not something I expected. I'm not gonna lie. All right, I kind of need to blow these ghouls up. Why do you have to go all the way over there instead of just casting your damn spell, brother? All right, Gale. I, I need you to be useful. Somehow. I actually need you to somehow be useful. So maybe that's not proc the mine. Okay, how, how do I do this? Because I need him to hit multiple targets without proccing mine. Okay, surely this hits three. Good, but that is way lower damage than I expected. <laughs> Alright, you better get back. Indeed. Thank you for not proccing the mine. I don't know what this repulsion mine does, but I don't want to find out. I, it looks modded. Because there is a question mark. <laughs> that actually looks modded. I'm not gonna touch that. I will enter turn, and then we will see if Bastarion has anything to say against these. Okay, let's see now. We do have blood there, so Asterion can get right in there. No, he cannot. <laughs> well, he could, actually. But at the same time, I don't think I want him up there. Not just yet. Ha! How are you unable to shoot? What? I'm sorry. I, I guess I don't have a choice but to go into melee. For some reason, I can't shoot. Alright. Well, time to gear him. Of course you miss. Motherfucker. Alright, I will focus listening, because uh, you never know. Okay, let's see. Is this permanent? Uh, we'll... Huh? Let's see now, where are you at? Okay, synergy... Until long rest, okay. So I may have just activated that for no reason. I think I had it on. Alright. 
I just want Astarion to kind of distract them because he can perma heal. He's basically Piccolo. Gotta remember, he is a Namekian. Okay, I will Eldritch Blast the Ghoul. Very good. I think I'll use the drone, maybe distract them. Or I can Key Blast. I hope. Ooh, that is very close to the mine. No, 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 no. I found my mark. Please don't proc it. This is what I dislike about using Key Blast on Will. <laughs> it's just buggy for some reason. Alright. I know what I'm doing. It's called a dash. Heading. All the way over there. Alright, and now we rage. And we go tail. I doubt they can actually disarm me, but... Alright, call Karlaka uh, entering the rage mode. Why are you dashing, though? I'm sorry, what now? You just summoned another ghoul? Oh, that is cringe. Wait. Wait, what? <laughs> um. Okay. Well, now. Let's we'll see. Best course of action would be to just, to just get in there, I guess. At this point. I have to get in there. And I have to ruin their shields, because that's the reason why these ghouls are being a pain in the ass, probably, soon. Both of those shields gotta be destroyed. Alright, uh, it's time to Embrace of the Fallen, I think. I know I don't use this often, but... I will start to use it more often. I don't know if it actually works on them. Let me check. Race of the Fallen. At the end of each turn, other creatures within 10 meters of you that can see you must succeed on a Charisma. They are very low on Charisma. Or become fearful. Okay. So this is potentially huge. Because they have 5 Charisma. Okay, my guy is Bone Chilled. <laughs> Unsure if that works or not for these, since they are basically... Bo uh, they, they are bones! <laughs> okay, everybody is technically afraid, because they are very low charisma, so Embrace of the Fallen is huge here, actually. Alright, I need you to literally fly in there, and I need you to Spirit Guardians, like ASAP. With a lot of radiation damage. Shadow Heart is gonna be my major source of damage in this fight. Unless they all run away like dumbasses, which they might. <laughs> they, they really might. Alright, I think I magic missile the big dude. Uh, unless he's out of range, which he seems to be just slightly out. Alright, let me leap there, and then do this. Hopefully this busts his shield and reduces the resistances. Good. Barely. Barely good. I will move a little bit back because I don't want them to accidentally run towards Gale and destroy him. Yeah, Starion is being surrounded, which is not okay. But it's fine. I'm not gonna hit the ghoul, because these... That shepherd seem to actually summon more, so... Ooh... Disarm. Motherfucker! This dude just dodged everything except the disarm. 
tail. Opportunity. I will tail. Boom. Reckless. Yes. Alright, at least the ghast is running away. I can take that. I don't have the level 4s on will, which is kind of annoying. So I kind of have to rely on Eldritch Blast, which is not bad, honestly, because it's two hits still. Except it always misses for whatever reason. Come on. Don't bug on me now. Alright, let's see now. Uh, we do not have Legacy of Avernus. Damn it, man, why? I am confused. Why do I not have this? Oh, it's because I know I haven't. Oh, uh, did I actually use that? I don't recall. Well, it is what it is. I'll just burn this mother yucker. There we go, searing smite, and then hit him. Good. Look at this motherfucker. All right, disarm. Damn it. Mm. Oh! Let me check this great sword. Wait, I can't. Not during combat, anyway. Uh, won't let me check it. Okay. Um, Lazel is getting destroyed. I wish I had a Sanzu bean on her, or Destructo disc, but I have no energy. So I think Lazel needs to get out of here, like now. I will disengage. This is probably one of the only times where I'm actually going to use Disengage. Because <laughs> I feel like I kind of have to. And then I feel like I gotta chug a jug. I don't know if being drunk is good or not though. Plus 3 Charisma is decent. Minus 1 on Dex and Int. That is bad. Alright, give me a second. I need to do something real quick. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I had to give my wife some uh, papers. Her mom's here, she needs to do something, yada yada, we don't, we don't really care about that, I'm sorry, I just had to do it. It is what it is. You gotta do what you gotta do. Alright. So. We'll see now. This guy is running away, I don't like that. I don't like that he's running away. You're not allowed. Motherfucker, you actually tried to punch me. Get smacked. Let's go! Finally we proc the hidden needle. Except he takes no poison damage because he's immune to that. Motherfucker. <laughs> but... Embrace of the Fallen is huge in this fight. Actually huge. And I feel like Shadowheart is going to play a major part in here as well. I feel like she's a good damage dealer in this fight. They kind of have to enter that area if they want to do anything. And uh, they... We'll take damage if they do that. Alright. Gale. Good damage. Speak with animals. Sure. 
<laughs> I will take it. Okay, this dude needs to die. Sorry, what now? Motherfucker. Sneak. <laughs> he just falls over. <laughs> Alright. Well. Rest should be easy. Okay, I need to get rid of the ghast soon. Please kill it, question mark? Do the eight. Come on, one time. No, that was two. <laughs> Alright, surely Carlac got this. Good. Very good. So Carlac does a lot of damage now. Because of dual wielding. Dual wielding is really strong in this game. Alright, um... I kind of want to make her just drunk. But at the same time, let's not do that. Let me... Uh... Motherfucker. Okay, second win, please. Good. Could have been better, but good. Alright, let me bone chill. This fella. There we go. Then we go back into the fray. Now you know Kremio's gonna have an easy time with this one. a good hit. That's a miss, but I'll take it. Alright, come on, let's punch. Well, this doesn't work, but still. And he's just gonna keep on running, because they're afraid. <laughs> Alright, well, Shadowheart can just literally run after that dude and still do damage. Yup. Yup. Unfortunate, but I don't have the actual range to hit that one. Alright. I could potentially feed Lazel a Sanzu Bean. But I don't want to do that. Not just yet. Alright, are there any more ghouls and or ghasts that I need to worry about in the vicinity? Does not seem to be the case. Alright, I will keep on using the magic missile because it seems to be working. Also, I don't want to hit everybody else. Because most of Gale's stuff are AoE except the magic missile. Alright. This is just easy since we killed the... Uh, that stewards? And I'm pretty sure Astarion can just melt people most of the time. Fortunately, there is no blood other than this. And this is not getting me in range. So it is what it is. Alright, please don't proc the trap. I don't want to find out what it does. I'm assuming it does... It, it's just gonna knock me the fuck out. <laughs> Alright, you know what? I will cast the drone, and I'm gonna send it down the road after this turn. Alright, you fly there, kill this bastard, and let's get it over with. One hit? Where's the secondary? Is it because I flew? Maybe. Victory awaits. All right, surely you got this. He's one HP. Are you kidding me? I was gonna say, ain't no way you missed twice. Stinking cloud. Sure. All right, that shepherd. What do you got? Fifteen AC. Nah, I'm good. 
What about this great sword, though? Nah, 2d6. Huh. Alright. Embrace of the Fallen was, uh, huge. Grand Duke Ravenguard abducted to Moonrise Tower. One turn remaining. It's about to fall off. Annoying. But it is what it is. That's an 18 armor class. Heavy armor. Anything of use? Another dead zealot. Right, where is this drone? This uh, scrying eye. Let me talk to Will though. Got a long road ahead. Before that. Hells! Oh, the Raven God's been taken. Shit! 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 Okay, he seems to know something. You need to understand. Duke Raven God is my father. Ah. Well, <laughs> all the more reason to try to rescue him from Moonrise Tower, I guess. More than pressing, vital. Is it though? I was close to my father once, until he disowned me and cast me out of Baldur's Gate. But my heart still hurts <laughs> to think he's been taken by these cultists. Okay, so they're that just dumbass. Gortash. I know of him. A so-called military advisor to the Baldur's Gate elite. A weapons dealer, in cruder terms. We must rescue father from Moonrise. He is a powerful man. The most beloved duke in Baldur's Gate. Should the absolute cultists infect him, there's no telling the damage he might do when he's returned to the city. Yeah, we'll just retrieve your father from Courage Moonrise, and I guess. You would have made a fine daughter to my father. Bro, stop. Me? Well, I've never been able to escape my father's name. Try as I might. My story is one of two men. The Blade of Frontiers. A man hunting the fiends who prey on the weak and claw at the coast. And Will Ravenguard. A memory of a memory. A man who belongs to the past. I wanted you to know the Blade, not the shadow he left behind. Well, unlucky, bro. But there has to be something more to this the 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 Solomon story. There yeah. is, and you know why I can't tell you. My lips are quite literally sealed. Ah, I see. So it's because of Mizora. All right, let's leave. <laughs> well, we'll we'll have to hold it in. You know what I mean? <laughs> Does that make sense? Okay. Um, let's see now. Travel through the mountain pass. Was I not uh, here previously? Yes, I was. What? Confusion. Alright, let's take this orb and check out our surroundings. Let me go this way. Uh, brothers, sisters, please sit. The orb alone. The drone, yes. Motherfuck, can you move? Hello? It can't go down? Question mark? Alright, let me check this way then. We got a lot of time with this one, so might as well just check. Okay, so there is maybe possibly something this way, but I do not know. Or it could just be blocked. So I'm not gonna bother with that just yet. Or I could just, you know, go check that out first, because it's right there. And then down here... Who is you? A wary traveler. Seems like a wizard. There's a blue jay, which is there. There's another blue jay, which is there. Okay, I'm seeing a trend. <laughs> I am not allowed to go there with the orb. Okay, so this has to be an instance or something. 
All right. Okay. We're going this way first. And then we check where the orb is. Well, let me see. Can I jump? Well, apparently Will has the right idea. We cannot go that way. What if I check up there? I don't think I can jump there. Nope. No, it's not allowed. All right. Might as well check. Okay. I, I always like getting a free items, yes. All right, Gondolf. Stay thy course a moment to indulge an old man. Elminster? The very same. I'm sorry, game. what? And a fair bit miffed he is, too. Finding himself forced to expose his best pair of boots to so many miles of country road on your behalf. Okay. The very pinnacle of wizardry. It's an honor, sir. You're an hour's worth of exposition to my presence, and you may well come to consider a different sort of honorific with which to chronicle the occasion. But uh, until then, your sentiment is well received. Yes, yes, yes. Be that as it may, you said you came all this way on my behalf, did you not? For what purpose? I was bid to spare neither time nor my own self to find you. She sent me gail mithra you know of whom i speak but why was Out it mithra it i forgot Elminster. please young man has your sojourn away from Bordity washed away your decorum as well as your patience nigh a ten day i've gone without honest fare worthy of the name drank naught but what the sky entitled my thirst but he's not a Why, wizard. Some bread, Conjure up some water. And a cup of wine would appear unto me a feast. Surely you won't begrudge me a mite of rest and repast before I get, get out with it. Alright, so he wants to meet up at camp, I guess. I, 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 yes, surely you could have conjured any feast you liked. I have to agree with this one. You are a wizard. Wizards are known in this game for being able to conjure water and food, if I recall. I mean, the priest has the same things, if I recall. Anyway. <laughs> Alas, such luxuries require the beneficence of time. And time, as I'm sure our friend here will attest, is the very luxury of which we're all too bereft. Yet oh, you are wasting hours. Love of... uh, well, uh, Gail be like, motherfucker. <laughs> to your camp. Oh, don't dawdle now, lad. You're the one who's in such a frightful hurry. Oh, nigh on 13 centuries old and he still thinks with his stomach. We'd best follow and see if he's... Well, I guess I'm being forced to go to camp. My face exactly as Corlax. <laughs> Cringe. All right, very well, I suppose. Wise choice. Better to indulge your curiosity than Elminster's appetite. Well, I am literally being forced to camp by the game. Mm. Although I did have the option to not go just yet. But I might as well. Doesn't do to parlay on an empty stomach, you know. Makes one's words frivolous when they should be grave. Plenty to digest, after all. A good deal to stew over, if you will. Words ladled... You know, for a person that's saying, uh, so we ain't got no time, he's literally wasting a lot of time. Alminster. Right. Um... Gail agrees. <laughs> I, um... 
That is to say... Did you really forget? Gale, my boy. I've come to address a most pressing matter. Okay, who died? I'll speak as plainly as I can, forswearing the accustomed frills that decorate my speech. I'm here on behalf of Mistra. Okay, it's Mistra, not Mistra. The message and the charge I bring you are hers. Charge? Uh oh. My guy got charged for something. Yeah, that better not be something very, very bad. Okay, I, I'm guessing we are dipping into both Will and Gale's story at this point. So, I, we might as well. Divine Messenger, hmm. Oh, Mistra's delicate feet are ill-suited for the hardships of the road. You know where you went wrong, Gale. No, we needn't dwell on that here and now. But even so, you're to be given a chance of redemption. Okay. Mistra would consider forgiveness. She would consider what she considers to be forgiveness. Ah, she's Mistra a mother just rip him of magic of the misadventures that have befallen you both. She knows of your strife. With the absolute, that most insidious of evils. So, is Mr. about to help? So, my question exactly, if even the gods know, why do we gotta deal with this instead of them? <laughs> they choose the instruments of their will with great precision. Motherfuckers. Sometimes the single drops we think we are. Do not realize what waves we are building up to be. I'm pretty sure a fucking tsunami of a god would do more. Just saying. Token, do not discount your enemy. You must know that the absolute is more dangerous than you can possibly conceive. It threatens all who live, even those who are undying. It threatens the gods, the weave, the very fabric of the universe itself. That is why I have come here to charge you, Gale, with its destruction. It is Mistress' belief that only you can. Okay, hold up. So Gale's like main character material. Actual main character material. Hold up. <laughs> Gale alone? Hmm. Well, to be honest... Um... My guy is a dimension traveler. And... Uh... What, what's his face? Um... I forgot. Okay? He's basically a Kai. A god at this point. <laughs> He's been strong... Since I've started this playthrough, and he's probably gonna get even stronger. <sighs> but she'd do well to place her trust in me in equal measure. Because if not for Cremiel, Gail would have died, probably. I doubt not your conviction, but Gail has an unnatural advantage. The old. So what now? Precisely. Mistra has granted me the power to stop the clock, as it were, on the orb's rush to overpower you. Instead, you will be able to unleash its lethal combustion at will. Interesting. This could be hell. Motherfucker actually listening into our conversation. <laughs> you must find the heart of the absolute whatever that may be and use yourself as the uh, catalyst that will burn it from oh this world oh my god they want to kill the suicide bomb into that <laughs> we'll be we'll be rid of both the absolute and gale in one full swoop we win <laughs> that is something i would say as a joke i'm sorry
Ai, ai, ai. This is hardly... Actually, I do believe a god would... Uh... I, I will go with option number four. I'm sorry. It is something that I would say. But I will not have you sully this moment of most sorrowful import with ill-considered levity. It's all right, Elminster. <laughs> if ever Gallo's humor were appropriate, this is its grim, smiling hour. It brings me no pleasure saying this, my friend, but such is mistress will yours must be the sacrifice that will undo the absolute and for your sacrifice you will be redeemed such is mistress promise with that i've said my sorry piece and need only bestow unto thee the charm i was bid my it is done. Both charge and charm have been committed into your care. Well, <sighs> to you, I commit into care Gail himself. I count on you to shepherd him well on this. Strangest of journeys. Motherfucker, they gave us an actual atomic bomb. <laughs> Fucking nuclear launch detected. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. We'll find another way. Or some other fortune altogether. Like Bro. moons make swell and wane the nescient seas. So too. The skies truven gods ordain the tidal fates of mortal days. And yet, a notion born in lonely hours. Come, ebb, come, flow, come. All that is beyond the breadth of our dominion. Be a moon unto yourself. Even the waves of fate can break upon the shores of will. Farewell, my friend. Farewell, Elminster. I'm glad she chose you. Well, oh, we got an achieve. Repairing the weave. Okay. Well, we have been forced to rest. Also, Gale has been forced to be an actual nuclear missile. <laughs> oh my god! Motherfucker has been sent by the Pentagon! Oh, yeah, yeah. An audience with Elminster is never less than memorable. I'd have hoped to introduce you to him in less dire circumstances. But those are hard to come by these days. Hmm. I'm gonna go with option number one. The doddering act is merely an illusion, one he's most adept at maintaining. Elminster is the most formidable wizard in the realms. Perhaps in existence. Is it though? For Mistra to have is sent he? him. The severity the of her bidding could not be clearer. Or weigh more heavily on me. Time seems so infinite when you're young. A month is an age. A year is a lifetime. It is a strange feeling. To realize how little of it one might have left. Alright, so here's my interpretation of Mistra's charge. This is a punishment. She literally just wants to get rid of Gale at this point. She has literally set off a time bomb. Mistra is the Pentagon, <laughs> Gale's the nuclear missile, and the uh, nuclear launch detected, if you know what I mean. 
<laughs> oh my god. Bro, what is this sad story? Poor Gale, bro. Go with option number one. Of course. We offer the clearest solution to our problem. All I have to do is find the right place and time, close my eyes, and let go. Ooh. Then the slate will be clean. <laughs> Wrongs will be righted, the absolute will be gone, and I along with it. Can't be strategies. Destroy the absolute or eliminate him uh, or eliminate himself. I've no doubt she has the power to do so, but as for the permission, Ao would not look kindly on her meddling in mortal affairs. Divine intervention. I'm sorry, is the absolute not a better. divine? Because it seems that the everybody is kind of saying recount. she a goddess. To take on a god is no easy feat, even for him. My orb is the best chance we have. And only I can wield it. So divine on divine intervention is not allowed because for some weirdo reason. I'm sorry. So. <laughs> Bro, I love Belder's Gate, but this is bullshit. When you make a story. If you are telling me the absolute is uh, revered as a god. And or she is basically a goddess up until this point. And then you tell me that a goddess, another god, cannot intervene in the affairs of the mortals. Because whoever motherfucker does not like that, does not give permission, you lost me. What? <laughs> motherfucker, that's god on god action. What do you mean affairs of the mortals? <laughs> what? So, so far, the story has only told me that the Absolute is basically a god, okay? So if the Absolute is a god, it would make sense that another god would take action, no? Apparently not. Not in the universe of Baldur's Gate. <laughs> I'm sorry, the, the story is flawed here. Heavily. I like the game. I enjoy the story. I like the gameplay. I love the character creation. My god, this makes no sense. Okay? Unless this absolute is no god. Which is why another god cannot intervene. Story-wise, this makes literally no sense. Okay? So, that's it. Suicide this mission. The most spectacular one ever conceived. But essentially... Yes. I'm living on borrowed time. In more ways than one. So my guy just gave up. Perhaps. Perhaps this is how it must be. That remains ahead of us for now. The heart of the absolute must be discovered before I can stop its beating. Hmm. You know what? I don't. Uh, I don't know if I care about Gil blowing himself up or not. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. That said, he's a major source of power within my party, so I'm gonna try to keep him alive, I guess. Let's save such certainty for the moment such a decision is upon us. We may feel differently once we know what we're truly up against. True. I have a lot on my mind. I still then, seem to have something. Maybe it's during night time. All right. Can I talk to anybody else? That does not seem to be the case. Well, I guess I don't have a choice but the long rest. Do I have a choice to not rest? Nope. I have to rest. <laughs> oh, it's night time. Well, we touch Karlak real quick. Hey, soldier, I... <sighs> well, I'm not feeling so good. Not ideal. Why do I feel like nighttime looks so much the better than daytime? It's getting worse. <sighs> Feels like it's gonna burst out of my chest. <sighs> I need to find a mechanic, a good one. Or well, this thing's going boom. Oh my god, these people all all fucking explode, brothers. What is what is up with everybody being a, a fucking nuke? <laughs> uh. 
Um. Uh, what will happen if we can't tune you up in time? I imagine it's lights out, Big K. And then it'll be just you, your parasite, and the wild yonder. Oh my god, so she's a an actual other nuke. <laughs> but the the female version of Gale. To do before it comes to that. Okay. Well, <laughs> I gotta find the mechanic for Karlak now. I gotta stop Gale from, from, um, 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 from actually blowing himself up somehow. I gotta figure out a way to stop the Absolute. I have yet to actually reach Moonrise Towers. <laughs> What is going on? What is this? <sighs> ah, fucking weird story, bro. It went from from good, okay, to suicide bombers all over the damn place. What's next? I find myself blowing up? <laughs> ay, ay, ay. I don't think I can talk to anybody else, so... Alright. Need to say to the armor more before resting. I am unsure how I do that. I'm gonna be honest. Maybe I need to look into this. Hmm. Yeah, I am very confused. Oh well. There's so much stuff I have. Oh, the artifact is in my hands. It's bound until longer. Alright. Well, uh... Gale has mage armor on. We'll see for how long, though. Alright. Let's exit camp, but before that, might as well just take another look around. Is Halsin gone? Or is he in the other region? No, he's here. Never mind. All right. I guess we leave camp. I used to be a dog at everything when I first walked in the sun. Perhaps I'm a other yoker. It's when you randomly naked. <laughs> All right. And it's when you think a gog is an impressive word that I remember you're just a child. Ah, yes. Uh, he is. My boy over here is a vampire. I, I don't actually know his age, but he just called Will a child. <laughs> so I'm assuming he's at least 100 years old or, or something. I don't think Astarion likes us much, does he? Let me check. Ah! Uh, never mind, it's the medium. He's gotten better. Assume nothing. Let me check the rest. Okay, 44. Starting off at 37. Or 30 something. 51 for short. Carlac, uh, hmm. Does not like as much. Will is 55, though. Damn. Okay, killed about uh, below himself over us, if you know what I mean. Sure. Yeah, let's... Is this chapter 3? Alright, um... This might be... Act 3, and I don't know it. Or something. Confusion. Uh, anyway... If that is the case... Uh, I know there is another way which we have not explored, but... I will leave that way open for another playthrough. That other way is from the underground, if you recall, in the in the, in the place where the, the Dwergar were, there was a lift, an elevator, yes, that would be leading us right into the fog or something, where we needed the, the lamp and a fairy or something, a pixie, so we can survive. Yeah, I'll, I'll leave that for another place. Okay, let's keep that in mind. Alright, that's it. We should proceed.
How am I still in campsite? This has to be because I have went to another region and the game just put me in camp again. That's weird. Okay, hold up. Something happens. What the f- Hello? What are you doing here? Fucking gets, bro. I swear to God. Has our queen sent a knight to slay me with his own blade? Such informality, child. Does Motherfucker, this is the guy with the dragon. Your, respect. your blade speaks for you, Kithrak. You've come for blood. Child of Gith, I've not come to kill you. I've come to aid you. I, why do I doubt that? He's come to kill us. Not her. Yeah, I don't hear Gith Shabeleth. My blade rests. Hmm. Mother Gith compels you to Cremiel doing the rock sus kind of face. <laughs> yeah, your your queen haunts us. Why would we listen to you? Because I know who you are. And I know about the astral prism within it lies the seed of Vlakith's demise, and I intend to help you bring it to Oh, force. okay, we may have just gained the follower. Skeking. I should run you through for suggesting it. Alright, I dig. Maybe Voss is an ally. That's it, I will not give you the prison. It is not. I've heard word from Kresh Yulik. You are infected. Yet the one in the prism has chosen you, protects you with their power. That is true. The prism's tenant alone has the power to end Vlakith's tyranny. That it does. Sought their freedom for eons. All right, so we may have gained the powerful prism, ally. I does this powerful ally come with the dragon? Instead, you've granted the opportunity I've so long awaited. All that remains is the key that unchanged. Motherfucker, them. if you think you become king, I'm you're sorely sooner. mistaken. I, believe, I believe that would be lays out. It. <laughs> Bring the prism to Baldur's Gate. I'll be waiting in a tap room called Shares's Caress. That is where we decide the fate of my people. Let's um Together we will break our chains and be Vlakith slaves no longer. I am no slave, she's still Kithrak. The Undying Queen is my freedom. It is she who will purify me and How she is Lazel so lies, Lazel. In weird, bro. One, there is no like actual Delulu. <laughs> the Zaith Isk does not purify, it extracts memory I'm and kills the infected. Nor does not the being Lich Queen an idiot. glorify the ascended. She feeds on most all of them to grow her power and pursue godhood. Madness! He flood me with this... this heresy! I'm gonna have to punch her lights out, hold up. I will hear no more of it. Uh, he does speak the truth of the Zeitdisk. If they have not said, they must have good reason. And I won't be the one to betray them. What? He speaks truth of Zaitisk. You need to trust me. Or him. I did I'm sorry, what? That's what I pressed. Okay. I served Flaketh the whole of my life. Learned her words, fought her battles, yet she names me her Sharlak. Your words carry truth. I will meet you in Baldur's Gate. Do not make me regret it. I believe a Sharlak means traitor. If you are wondering. <laughs> Which is why I chose the Sharlak Zaitisk in uh, the title name of that one video. Magia in you, sister in freedom. Together we will be our people's light. Take this. It is a Quanith, a psionic what, no? detector. There we go. Thank the you for explaining. <laughs> hunt you. The Quanith will sound you out when you come near their portals. 
hear its cry, and prepare for battle, or slip away. Ah. We should I probably should slip go. away, though. <laughs> like its gaze pierces the seas and skies. She believes me loyal, and I can't afford her mistrust. Keep the astral prism close. Let no one take it from you. Slay any who try. Now to Boulder's Gate. I'll be waiting, Lazo. What I believe this guy just wants to be king. That's not gonna happen. Though, he is the only Gith with actual common sense. <laughs> So maybe? Alright, does Lazel have anything to say? Shadowheart is moving around. She does have something to say. And we might as well. See what she gotta say. The fuck you pulling the sword out on me. What? Only in Vlakith may we find light. Thank you. These were the first words I ever read on Tirsu Slate, but they are no mere aphorism. They are law. They are creed. The root from which the 10,000 protocols stem. Forsake one protocol and forsake Vlakith. Forsake Vlakith and be the blood and meat which sates her dragons. If Vos speaks true, Why would you do that? <laughs> if ascension is a lie, if tadpole purification is a fairy tale, then I have not sinned against Vlakith. She has sinned against me. Huh. So... Voss calls Vlacky the tyrant. Does this mean you agree? Finally. I never thought Vlacky the tyrant or me as a vassal. She was the source of my might, and I the envoy of her will. A warrior, a champion, a destroyer. But if Voss is right, and Vlakith consumes the Ascended to gain power, then I am no destroyer. I am mere livestock, bred to be harvested and devoured. Every Githyanki yes. is a slave with a singular purpose. Not to cull the Gaith, not to prevent their grand design, but to raise Vlakith to true godhood. Thank you for finally understanding, you dumb bish. Jesus, took you long enough. <laughs> Whew. These damn fanatics, bro. Alright. Let's move on. Yes. I'd like time to think. We'll meet Kithrak Voss at Charesse's Caress in Baldur's Gate. Alright, everything Until leads to Baldur's then. Gate. That I already know. Vlakith's eyes are upon us. A hatchery with a single egg. Hmm. How many does a clutch usually contain? Kalir's clutch held three dozen eggs, more or less. Though I've learned of creches that harbored a hundred. Damn. Hmm. <laughs> Who does the leg? <laughs> Shukiani. Who? Githyanki chosen by Vlakith herself to bear young. Ah. The queen assigns when and where they must lay, and how many eggs they must bear. Well, chickens. The Shukiani pass their <laughs> eggs in the material plane. I'm sorry. In the astral, time barely passes. It is a meticulous process, carefully timed so that the eggs hatch at once. Yeah, okay. Let me leave. <laughs> well, um, Lay's health 47%. So that's decent. I honestly don't care about romancing options, so... We must press forward. Can I give you the egg, though? Kethric, then find Voss in Boulder's... Okay, well, you told me that already. What else? Nothing. Right. Can I interact with said egg? Can't use right now. I'll give it to Lazel. I trust her with the egg of her kin. If you know what I mean. Right then, we should probably end this trip in the camp. 
because for some fucking reason we've been in the camp for like 10 minutes straight. <laughs> we long rested twice, what the fuck, bro? Well, it's on to act number three, I believe. That was fast. I still need to set the armor. I, I still don't know how. <laughs> it is what it is, though. Is my... No, it's not off. I thought it was off. It looks... It looks foggy. Kind of weird. I thought my reshade was off for a second there. It looks decent without the reshade, but... It is incredibly foggy for whatever reason. It's like it's way too bright or something. I don't know. It's weird. Game graphics are weird in general, which is why I normally use reshade. The correct. Okay. They kind of gotta correct the graphics. Ooh, the plot thickens. Lee, wait. Only now we're out of Act One. I just got an achieve. Oh my god, I thought we were three acts in. The game was like, nah bro, this is only act one, what do you mean? Okay! <laughs> I thought I was deeper in the story than I thought. We still got at least two or three acts. Uh, what is happening? This is no typical gloom. Why is it so dark? It was there. literal daytime. Oh, another goblin. What? Are we at Moonrise? Uh, are you the true soul? Motherfucker. <laughs> uh, we are all everything and yet nothing at the same time. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. Yes. Listen up. Grab a torch. Stay out of the dark and move fast. Shadows have eyes. Go on. Okay. Interesting. We have another night event or something. Alright, let me grab the torch. Even though I am one that used shadows. Okay, I use shadows. Ooh, is it just me or have the graphics gotten prettier? Just a little bit. Also, this angle of Kremiel's ass cheeks is kind of nice. I can feel the shadow's power here. The dark lady shields me. I can feel her. Okay, we have an ox here. Uh, shadow cursed undead. Zombie. Hmm. What if speak with dead? Uh, oh, it's undead, so I can't talk to it. Will this ox? Looks like it gored one of its attackers before it died. Okay. Black Oleander, 4 gold. I'll take, I'll take that, you never know when you need whatever. Vitriol of Oleander. Let me talk to Shadowheart, she got something to the say. Shadow curse. It doesn't seem to affect me like it does others. Not as badly, at least. Interesting. Do you know what this means? I what must be You're honest. a priest, motherfucker. <laughs> Lady Shah is You're literally the counter. Others are left to face her wrath. She loves me. Oh my god, another Delulu person. Uh, what about me, though? <laughs> Resourceful. You'll find a way. Motherfucker! Don't give me that look. It's a good thing that I'm resistant to the shadows. This way I can help you. Damn! I don't like Shadowheart as much now. <laughs> Bless me like this for no reason. There must be something she wants of me. Those signs we found about Dark Justicias. Perhaps they were no coincidence. In either case, I need to watch for any place dedicated to Lady Shah. A temple, perhaps. What is up with all these Dilulu persons, bruh? You got more dialogue? All these telltale signs of Dark Justicius that we've been seeing. I'm having a hard time believing they're a coincidence. Mm. Could be nothing all the same. Still. There may be more to it. I need to keep alert, in case that suspicion amounts to anything. Coincidence? Don't get your hopes up. Still, there may be more to it. I need to keep alert, in case that suspicion amounts to anything. Well, 
we have seen undead, so I am expecting undead, considering we are talking about undead, I'm expecting even more undead. <laughs> I'm just saying, also this place has, well, undead. A journal? Let me, let me read. Let me read. Let me read. Okay. He's just fucking choked and died, killed over. Alright. Fucking weird old place. Well, it is what it is. Gotta, gotta get away. Fast. We take the black oleander while I'm at it. Also, What's check this idea? backpack. Do we go that way? Get to Baldur's Gate. Take only what you can carry, go through the mountain pass, if anyone falls, leave them behind, you can't afford to be slowed down by excess baggage. Hmm. What is this place here? Will I accidentally, randomly find my way towards underground? By going this way, you never know. Oh, we came through here, I believe. Okay. Ooh, heavy chest. Yes, this heavy chest needs to be open. I heard something. I, I definitely heard something. What is this? Goblins? And Zeef, a half orc. Okay, uh, Gale, do your magic. You got the master key. I can literally unlock anything with Gale. What? There we go. Or do we care about these gobbles? Elminster's not around. Ah, uh, maybe. Okay, let's see now. What is this? Nethery's orb blast. Oh, we don't touch that. <laughs> that said, I could. Summon the shadow. But at the same time, wait. If Gale nukes himself, does this mean we end the game? Because, if I recall, they said Gale blows himself up quite hard. <laughs> also, when Gale died, our game kind of ended. Because he blows up after like two days, if I recall. Uh, dilemma, dilemma. I don't... What is happening? There we go. Alright, um, I was trying to do this. Tasty. You're the true soul we're taking to Moonrise, I'm guessing. How do you plan on getting me through this cursed darkness? Don't worry, boss. You're in good hands. We've got a guide. You do? Talk to Kansif inside. Ah, the health work. I see. Yeah, one last thing. Go and fetch that bone. <laughs> Wait, you, you, you're joking, yeah? But we're ready to go. You just need to tell Kansif inside. Hmm. Go on, fetch. So you want me to... I feel like Gale would be that type of person now that Mistra has basically told him to suicide. So I believe maybe it's time Gale goes a little bit dark. You know what I mean? Gets depressed, starts using illicit powers. He seems to like it. 
Okay. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. All right, let's go talk to the half orc. True soul. An honor. Did you bring the liar? The what now? Ah, I see. The one which is broken, the Moon Lantern. Good. We were told to expect you. Then pluck a tune, and our guide will come scuttling. Okay. Let me attempt. I have bliss spores, somehow. <laughs> Accent on the how. I don't know how. Okay. I also don't recall getting the liar, but I guess we did get it at some point. Okay, Kremiel handling the, the, the liar, kind of like a pro. Why'd you have to save during the fucking cutscenes? I hear them. What the fuck is that? Their god and their guy. God, a dryden. I always thought the stories were exaggerated. I'm sorry, where is Shadowheart? <laughs> you have been charged with guiding us. No flesh for you, my queen. But who are they? Best introduce yourself. Perhaps you'll listen to a true soul. Oh, I will introduce myself, all right? You're about to get fucked if you're low level. I'm sorry, what is Moon Shield? Protected by the light of a Moon Lantern. Ooh. Uh, call the weak. Additional 2 to 12 slash damage to targets below 50%. Dual wielder. Improved crit hits. Multi attack wounded target. So this is gonna. Oh my god. I don't know if I should be fighting this. This is this guy seems OP OP. But maybe I can catch him off guard. He's 19 AC though. That said he is monstrosity. I also feel like I maybe should put the torch away. And I should be checking. I know something somewhere has Extra damage against monstrosity. I have passive bliss spores. I don't even know how I got these. It's fine. Somewhere, something has extra against monstrosity. I do not remember what or where. It's fine. You know what's gonna happen, though. I need to destroy this fella. Because if not, I may have to fight it. And I, I, I mean, uh, I don't want to fight it when there are more of these nearby. Or should I not attempt? My guy is really strong. 260 HP and he does multi-attacks on everybody because we are all lower than his maximum HP. Ah, uh, dilemma, dilemma. Could attempt to hunter mark him. I have shadow blade, but it's it's very useless <laughs> because I have yet to actually find a use for it. Also, because this doom hammer is very good. Dilemma, dilemma. What do I do? Do I try to fight it? Ah, uh, I will try, I guess. I'm gonna just profane smite the fuck out of it though. I think that's the play. I will profane smite him. 
I also need to be in Embrace of the Fallen form. Listen, before that though, I need to check their charisma. Okay, 10 charisma is good. Can I... 12 charisma, also good. Let me check Betty. 10. Good old Betty, is 20 strength though. Huh. Well! Embrace of the Fallen it is. Alright, I doubt they actually know what the fuck is happening, even though I just went kind of Super Saiyan mode. Smack you. Picks a fight. The consequences are hardly Did you seriously just dodge that? Ooh. Alright. It is what it is. We have started something. So. Let's see now. I think I fireball here. And I attempt to not hit my entire party. Let's see. Is it even possible to hit people without hitting my entire party? Yes. It's just a little bit iffy. Very cool. Very cool. Once there, we have a key. All right. I think Gale is in a decent spot. That said, the uh, zombie hyenas. I doubt they're actually gonna jump here. There's also a warrior. A what now? A warrior Gronag. Per se. I am assuming, let's see, spindle web skepticism. What is this? Minus four to AC! What? I gotta incapacitate this motherfucker. Hold up. <laughs> okay. Um. Okay, uh, yeah, we, 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 we gotta hurry. Because this motherfucker is about to destroy me. 98. We bleeding you the fuck out. So, if I do this. If I do this on this fella, it, it will potentially fail. I will try though. Good, it did not fail. Very good. Okay, Karlak got hit. Um, let's do the disarm. Damn it. Damn it. Yes. Can you incapacitate this fella? Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, Soul Breaker seems like a good one. It's a stun. Sixty-four is decent. How are you stunned, but at the same time you still keep that up? What? That is nonsense. All right, uh, Lazel, you kind of need to go all out on this one. What does Pommel do again? Uh, days. I don't care about pummeling right now. I will action surge though. Because we re really do need to lacerate. Damn it, man, it missed. Alright, he's stunned two turns. Gotta keep that in mind. Alright, we punch. We still have that. Damn it, man. Come on. Alright, I will... Uh, Raulo team. Possibly incapacitating. Hopefully we stop this nonsense. Motherfucker. <laughs> this guy is tanking hits like a pro. Come on, Will. Don't freeze on me. The T-pose. Alright. Right. Surely Kremiel got this. Psychic seems to work, but I will do the profane. I will level 2 profane. 
good damage. Damn it, man. Shit. Okay, shield. Kind of need to use a lot of resources here because this mother yucker is very strong. You gotta kill him off fast. Okay, I think... I think I melee hit him. Are you kidding me, though? <laughs> One more. No? I'm confused. Just a little bit. Hit him. No! Shadow Heart, what do you mean? Okay, please punch. Four or more. Damn it, man. Alright. Surely you got this, Gale. Ain't no way you don't. Alright. Go with the, the maximum level. I believe three is enough. Sure. Let me just go four. Just in case. Let me go hit Kansif. Okay, we got rid of the spinder whatever nonsense was going on. Okay. Everything else should be easy. Come on, just, just fly over there and deal with that. Now you go hit that. Oh, I forgot this little fella. It's fine. Alright, I will also... Uh, yeah, let me just do this. Okay. Alright, we still have uh, protection from evil and good. So that might actually be really useful here. Come on. I don't know what's wrong with Will and the E Blasts. We just like to see both, kind of. Alright. Let me go there. Smack this fool. I don't... Okay, barely. Barely. Alright, no punch? Oh well. Sneak. Good. Yeah, the... Embrace of the Fallen is kind of broken. Oof! Okay, wasting my resources here was good because... I feel like I would have died. Otherwise. What's it gonna take? Right plus, yes. God, I wish I could double Sunday after a, a double hit. It's fine. What should I do? You should kill this one. There we go. Shadowheart actually hitting melees. Not bad. He has a key. Unsure what it's gonna be useful. Let me check what the baby got. This, that, and that. Sharp Eye Laura has well nothing. Surely you give me the lantern. Let's fucking go. Then we have Cruel Sting. Ooh. Protecting all in its vicinity from the hey, baby. I think that was the correct it's choice. Pixie trapped within. These fey creatures are infamous for their trickery. Sometimes playful, sometimes malicious. Hmm. Oh please, oh golly, me oh my! You must release me or I'll die. This lantern only lights the way when I am hurting night and day. Ah, 
nobody actually li uh? I kind of need the pixie though. She's gonna fuck off if I uh, release her. <laughs> You're fuel for the lantern. How does that work? My pixie dust is bright as day. My injuries can light the way. Cruelty and cleverness are all too common bedfellows. Let's side with cleverness alone, shall we? See what we can do to save this first loving pixie. Hmm. What's the mechanism at the base of the lantern? I dare not name it, newfound friend. The faintest touch could spell my end. Mm. Ancient? Broke oath? If I turn, she's gonna die. Ah! I don't wanna... I don't want to ruin the lantern. I don't really want to kill the pixie. I kind of want to release the pixie. And then maybe she helps me without her actually dying. I'll just release her. I do what I want. Finally! Been trapped in that coffin with no one but a mad rider and my own farts for company. Did me a good turn there, didn't you? What do I owe you? Well, you owe me nothing, but can you help, though? Um, all right, I, I won't go with the Oathbreaker one, even though I would like to choose that. Sure I can, but will I? Yeah, sure, why not? Thanks, Dolly. Here, give this bell a shake. Speak the magic words and you'll get what you've earned. All right. Protection from the shadow curse. What more could a dingus want? You just call me a dingus. You're welcome. Motherfucker, I literally just saved your life. Pretty greed, fey wild bell. And we have uh, a melee weapon that is apparently kind of strong. Ensnaring strands. This is a long sword. Who can use this? <laughs> Hold up. Let me actually examine. Let's see. So only against restrained will it do poison damage. Only if it's a draw elf. Motherfucker, that is oddly specific. <laughs> So you're asking me to make my character an elf just to use a sword? What? Cringe. Do we ever get a drow? There is Mintara, which I have not killed. I don't know if Mintara will or will not join us at the end of this. So, let me just... Yeah. Let me just give that. Let me see if Brawler Viz got something. I did kind of spare Minthara though, through some interesting ways. Whenever you deal fire, you gain two turns of heat. Am I in heat when I do fire damage? <laughs> Engulfed by a vengeful fire, we take damage but can use heat convergence. Sorry, what? Consume your heat to fuel a powerful attack. Next time you deal fire damage, you deal additional one fire damage for every turn of heat remaining. Uh, nope. That is very gimmickly and oddly specific. <laughs> Let's not touch that. Alright, so. Where are we? I saw zombies down there. Motherfucker, if we entered combat, I did not want to enter combat. Do I have to be in combat? There is a chest. I kind of want to get that. I'm going to just smack the chest. Because I can. Ah, it's... it's of, of course. 
Well, it is what it is. I did waste an attack. It's fine. Well, at this point, might as well just use Sacred Flame, because they're all under. Of course, I don't have enough movement, then I can't use anything. Trench. I should probably Blessing of the Forge on Cremiel. I need to check. Does Cremiel still have Blessing of the Forge? Yes, she does. Interesting. Okay. Uh, Shadow Omar. End the turn. Destroyer. Gail just needs to smack them real quick. Hit him with fire. Seems like a good choice. Yep. Good choice indeed. Alright. Alright. Back to Gale. Directly. Open the chest. I will just knock. Because it doesn't matter at this point. I do have the... Master he, if I need to use it anywhere. I also got Shatter. So maybe we make use of that at some point. I might need to do this. So I keep that out of the way, kind of. Alright, which way am I going? Because I don't actually know. I think it's through here, but I'm not completely sure. And we will summon the party here instantly. Everybody's perception failed. Damn, the fog thickens. There is a gilded chest. Ah. Shit. <laughs> um. Um. One, two, three, four. Hold up. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Sheesh! Hi! I'll just... Well, don't mind me, I will... Fireball. I think this is the best course of action. Hit the three. Very nice. Very nice. Very cool. I will take it. Alright. Kremiel just enjoys getting beat up at this point. I haven't seen these motherfuckers since World of Warcraft. <laughs> They're in the water, usually. They are very similar to that. Only they're not blighted, they're something else. Jesus! Alright. Let's see now. Um, I think I magic missile here. I feel like I kind of gotta stay. I kind of have to stay away. Six level. Wait. Three level sixes. Jesus. It is dark, but magic missile don't care. Decent damage. Could have been better. Ah. Um, Shadow Cursed Vines. Not ideal. Not good. Okay. Alright, where is Gale, actually? We are here. So these seem to be kind of weak to fire. Might as well. Hee <laughs> hee they have an obvious weakness to flames. Alright, I will just uh, 
I need to get Gale out of here. Because... And hear me out, I believe that shadow thing is gonna spread to him and kill him. Alright. I could fireball right here. Fortunately, they're not stacked. That said, fireball seems to be very good against these. I could scorching ray though. Potentially very huge damage. But at the same time, I can also do this and spread. Woo! Damn! Okay, Scorching Ray was not bad. If I... Yeah, sure. Come on. Come on! Alright, uh, get out of that blight, will ya? William? You have to kind of just disengage, but at the same time, not really. You know what? I think Remio stays. I think do this. I wish you died. Give me the needle! <laughs> ah... Alright, surely the Sacred Flame got this. Are you fucking kidding me, game? Do the 16 and you give me 3 damage. Jesus Christ, be high on decks or something? What? That is 8 dexterity. How do you only deal 3 damage out of 16? Ay, ay, ay. Fuck yes! <laughs> Want another? Get in there! Yeah, baby! Alright. Can I still move? Uh, not really, no. 49. 49. I don't understand why being immobile is a disadvantage for using a bow. That makes no sense to me. I don't need to move my feet to use a bow. You know what I mean? That's actual bullshit. And should not be a thing in the game, but it is what it is. Okay, I need you to... Why is flying unavailable while immobile? Hello? Oh, he's stuck. Well, 49, 49, sure. Damn it, man. Maybe I should have tried the bow. It's fine. Do damage, jeez. Oh my god. Brothers. Stop with the AoE. Oh my god. Who's immobile? I think Kremiel literally cannot move right now. Hit him hard. Get him, Lizelle. Prove your worth. Be useful. <laughs> okay, it is time for Gale to do his magic. Let's see. Um, if I roll two damage, or three, uh, two, let's see, mm. let's go with four, hopefully four is enough to kill, and then the rest on this, okay, four was not enough, it literally ended on one HP, damn it, man! Couldn't you have done one more extra DPS? <laughs> it's 
fine. Surely will has this. Good. Now can we please leave this weirdo area? What is this? Elixir of Bark Skinny. I don't need all of that. I will take the Ice Knife. I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna take the gold. And there, there doesn't seem to be anything in the area. Save me. I cannot take much more. Damn it, Will. Uh, not Will. Gale. Why'd you have to step in that shit? Luckily, he's an undead, so he can self-heal. Come on. Whew. A little bit of a chilling wind. I have my balcony window open. Or the door, rather. It's a door, not an actual window, okay? Because for some reason, when my parents uh, made this balcony, they decided, you know what? Let's not make the windows uh, something you can open. Because that's a good idea, for whatever reason. Instead, uh, it's uh, just a door. Okay, uh, enough of that nonsense. What have we here? I don't think I can go that way. Oh, is this not the way? Confusion? We go up? Maybe? No. Where am I supposed to be going? Do I go that way? Is that the play? Let me actually heal my people. I think it's time. Sure, I will pray out of healing. I think it is necessary. Good. One is enough. Alright, Carnes got utterly destroyed. So, I think Cardness came from here, question mark? The good old spider. I will take Steve's tools. And... Uh, this is a chasm. I'm sorry, what? I, Bell? Bell? <laughs> Do I use bell? Use. I think it's time. Okay. Still alive, so about to progress. Well, <laughs> that is not what I expected. What next? Where do I go from here? Do I go up? Is that the way? Going down equals death. Alright. I'll just send Kremiel alone. Yeah, luckily. Luckily. Also, we got self-heals for days. So we are Gucci. Remiel can't self-regenerate. Because she's broken that way as a Frieza class now. Oh, that was... Okay, so down is not the play. What next? Where do I go? Uh, I'll try this way, I guess. We are two hours in. So, seeing as how we are two hours in... Will you shut up, though? Oh my god. Now is not the time for y'all to talk. <laughs> I'm trying to do the outro here, lady. Shut up. Seeing how we are 2 hours and 10 minutes into the video, I think it is about time we end, okay? Uh, that said, we have killed a big spider dude, which had uh, almost triple Kremio's HP, <laughs> which was kind of interesting. And uh, I kind of need to figure out the way towards Moonrise Towers. 
I expected I was out of Act 1, like, I don't know, five episodes ago, but apparently only now have I left Act 1 in this episode. Do we get another, like, 50 or 60 episodes? It may just happen. I'll see you guys in the next one.